Good afternoon, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. We are back. We are back again with another edition of JRTS Archives. Uh, today we are going to show the release of the uh, prisoners pardoned by President Yami as part of the celebration of the July 22nd as 21st anniversary. So let's see what the archives have for us today. July 22nd revolution, the presidential message that centered on forgiveness was not many was, was not what many had expected. Today, Friday, saw more than 200 freed prisoners reuniting with their loved ones after years behind bars for both capital and minor offenses, commanding the death and life sentences. Louis Mendy was at the Gambia Prison Services headquarters and he prepared this report. <laughs> Over 200 inmates that were granted presidential amnesty Friday morning made it home to join their loved ones. At the Gambia Prison Service headquarters, it was tears of joy when the family members arrived to embrace and welcome home their loved ones after months and years behind bars, charged with treason, murder, drug trafficking, robbery, and were to face death, life imprisonment, or maximum jail terms. Looking healthy but homesick, the inmates couldn't help but pay gratitude to the Gambian leader for the presidential pardon. Um, I was charged for treason um, and I was convicted, sentenced to life. Um, I feel very grateful to Almighty Allah and very grateful to His Excellency the President for granting us a pardon. And uh, we want to, I want to pray for him for a long life, good health, and prosperity. And may Allah give him the strength to be able to steer the affairs of this country to higher heights. But we survive this. We want to thank the Almighty Allah you know, for having um, preserved us and gave us the strength you know, to uh, witness this day. And we thank our parents and, you know, for our prayers and you know, for the loved ones. And we want to thank His Excellency the President. You know, when I heard the news, you know, um, on Wednesday, I said, you know, the president has stolen the show again. Um, he has gone, you know, all, the unexpected. And um, he has shown that the, the type of um, person he is, you know, uh, caring and um, who can forgive and then forget. A sizable number of youths pardoned as first time offenders in cannabis did not only confess regret, but prayed that God bestand them from drug and other illegal activities till eternity. The youth also he praises on the president for the show of mercy. First, first I thank God for this occasion day, for God making this day a possible day. And thank the president of the Republic of the Gambia for making God making him be a true mission. Senegalese, Nigerians and a Dutch national forming part of a larger number of non-Gambians charged for possessing cannabis and cocaine, now the courtesy of the president are set for immediate deportation. I uh, thank him sincerely for his uh, kindness, for he's a good fellow man. We are all happy and everybody in the prison all over the country are happy to see what he has done. We are all grateful. But the effort you have done, you have done so much that is unbelievable. Nobody could do that for us. I'm speaking specific for myself. Uh, we don't too much. I wish you could be there till the end of time. The six Venezuelans charged for possessing cocaine sometime in the past were also pardoned. I asked them whether such an act can be granted amnesty in Venezuela. The answer was nunca, nunca, which translates. No, no. I want to tell the nation that they have the greatest leader can ever be, but only somebody with the kind of mercy in his heart can do what he has done today. Speaking earlier to now free inmates, Lamy Nyavali, the Secretary General, Head of Civil Service and Minister responsible for Presidential Affairs, and Honorable Usman Sonko, the Minister of the Interior, warned them to remain calm while enjoying their freedom and to only engage themselves in productive ventures as good citizens. Leave the memorable occasion and it's a memorable day. I'm sure all of you by now would have known that through the benevolence of His Excellency the President of the Republic, 
Why are you guys so obsessed with death though? Some were supposed to serve life imprisonment and some were supposed to serve 25, 30 years imprisonment. And with all that, because his fear in the Almighty Allah and his fear in him, his belief in the Holy Quran, which is the Holy Scripture, made him to have that sympathy, sympathy in mind to free these people from this holy month of Ramadan and even in celebration of the anniversary of the July 22nd, July 22nd anniversary. The historic gesture of forgiveness. Oh my God! Look the at them in their trucks. The came at the heels of the 21st anniversary of the 22nd July Revolution. The Interior Minister said, symbolizes reconciliation, rapid growth, economic transformation, caring, and above all, forgiveness. Prisoners will come immediately after the eight o'clock news. Various drug-related offenses pardoned by the President, His Excellency Sheikh Professor al Haji Dr. Yahya A.J.J. Jami Babili Mansa have been released by officials of the Jangjangburi prisons. These seven men, who are all Gambians, express gratitude to the Head of State for his humanitarian gesture and promise to turn a new life. We hope to bring you details of that story in our 10 p.m. newscast. So yeah, there you go. Uh, so they had actually, uh, I think they're gonna, they, they are going to show the highlights of the, the ceremony or the release after the uh, new newscast. I don't know if I'll be able to record that because I'm heading out to work. Um, but they also did report that six other people have been released from Janjambura prison. So uh, I don't know, I'm kind of a little, little crazy over this. As a matter of fact, I, I am very, 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 very happy for these families, man. I can imagine what they're going through. For the families, I am so happy for them. But um, some of these people, or most of these people, they are in prison because the president has sanctioned, he sanctioned their arrest and, 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 and imprisonment. So uh, the president has the right to exercise prerogative of mercy, which he had done. Um, so that's where it starts, starts for me. So anyway, congratulations to the families, man. I I, I am still I am still kind of getting over what had happened last night when I saw those people in NIA, um, uh, thanking and and, and uh, uh, praying for President Jame for for something that they hadn't done. But anyway, I catch you guys later, man. Uh, bye. Welcome home, people. Welcome home.